Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So this week um, you're going to see me doing about three charcoal landscape drawings. After those drawings, um, you'll also see a few more drawings that I've done recently, not just landscapes, a few other things. All of the six or so drawings in this video are things that I've done in the last maybe three weeks. So assuming you're watching this video soon after I upload it to YouTube, about 21st of February, 2024, then these are all sort of recent drawings that I've done. So it's a bit of a catch up video in that way, I guess. It just shows you some of the things I've been doing recently. These, as I say, three or four drawings we're going to see first, they're all quite quick, sort of short videos. Um, I prefer to work quite fast um, when I'm doing drawing. In the case of watercolour, it is actually kind of beneficial or even necessary to work reasonably fast because as you're working, the water paint is drying into the paper. It's not an issue, of course, with dry media, but I still like to work um, as fast as I can. I find that that way I get less fussy drawings, um, looser drawings. You could also say careless drawings, and they are. They're careless in the sense that I'm not taking much care uh, while doing them. Most of the time, I have no idea what the final drawing is going to look like, and I'm not really worried either. Um, it's not important to me. It's just, it's the process of actually putting marks onto the paper and just enjoying that process. I find that when I'm drawing, it's a very, I don't know, meditative sort of process. I'm not worried about other things, you know, all the sort of thoughts that fill our heads during the day. I'm just focused on doing that drawing. So even though the drawing may only be about three or four minutes, it is three or four minutes of sort of a peaceful mind, if you like. materials that I'm using are also very simple. It's just a white paper. It has quite a smooth um, surface to the paper. I'm using those compressed charcoal blocks, the Derwent XL blocks. I also use a piece of tissue paper and a kneaded eraser, which you can see me using at the moment. I use the eraser not so much as a uh, an eraser but like a, a drawing tool I it's just there to add something to the drawing it's kind of like you're taking away something but you're adding something in the process so for example in the sky I might remove some of the charcoal in order to create the feeling of maybe clouds in the sky I say I like to work very fast um, I think that, you know, some people will prefer to work in a more structured way with a plan. They know what they want the final drawing to look like. Um, it's all very careful. Lots of emphasis on details. There's nothing wrong with that style of drawing. I'm not saying that people shouldn't do that or anything like that. I think it's kind of linked to your personality, or at least this is the idea that I'm sort of coming to these days. I don't think it's just simply different styles or approaches. I think it is rooted in your personality. So for me, being careless, being sort of spontaneous, it's more who I am as a person. Um, I'm not a detail sort of person. I would not be a very good accountant, for example. In fact, I would be a terrible accountant. The whole idea of just focusing on little details like that is not at all interesting to me. So I tend to work loose and abstract. And you can see one of the examples on screen, one of the recent drawings I've done. Here are some more. These are obviously not landscapes, um, people within urban landscapes, I guess. These are, I would describe them as mixed media. 
originally they were charcoal on paper but I also put them through some uh, digital stuff on, on the computer so that's how I added in some color and different effects and then some more again just simple charcoal on paper the ones where I'm doing people most of them are like the ones on the far left there's no no background such as just focusing on these little figures and especially I'm interested in the expressions on the figures and the way they interact or don't interact with each other but uh, recently I've been doing a, a little bit more of backgrounds and sort of putting in buildings and other things like the one in the middle um, and I'll probably include some of these in a, a video a YouTube video in a week or two because it's something I'm working on and it might be interesting again to to show me trying to learn something new um, I know there are people who watch this channel who are trying to get into art it can be a frustrating thing you sometimes feel as though you're not making progress and sometimes on YouTube Instagram you only see the good results the final results and you don't often see all of the the failures that lead up to that so I, I plan to do a, a YouTube video mm, probably next month early next month just showing me failing and failing and failing until hopefully eventually producing something that I'm a little bit happy with anyway that's for the future today if you made it this far in the video thank you for watching and listening and hopefully see you again in next week's video